Hello everybody, Texas Man here. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. If you guys could please give this video a thumbs up if you guys do really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Make sure you guys hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. And as always, we'll be talking positives and negatives, talking about The Expendables 3 from 2014. If you guys missed out, I have done a review of The Expendables 1 and 2. And when The, Expendable, the Expendables 4 comes out, I will be reviewing that as well. So we're going to be doing a really brief review and just talking about the movie. I think the film has a fantastic cast, including the introduction of Mel Gibson as the main villain. We do get a lot more character backstories from the main group that is still around from the first two movies. Uh, the second one kind of had some of it, and the first one really didn't have like anything. But this film gives us more backstories as to a lot of the characters that we've been around with when it comes to the Expendables franchise. The action sequences are great. We get basically a clash of, you know, the new guys with all these high-tech gadgets versus the old school dudes that have, like, really underpowered guns and weaponry, and it for forces the old uh, Expendables guys to have to use tactics and be intelligent and smart about how they're going to win gunfights. And the film's plot is basically this former Expendable is wanting to wipe out the entire Expendables group because he doesn't want them getting in his way of world domination. While it feels like it is doing a lot from the past two movies, it does feel very more... It, it feels more polished, and it feels just like it's an easier time to watch and rewatch. Like when it comes to the Expendables films, at the time of recording this video, and there's only been three out so far, the third one is definitely the easiest one to watch. It's just a more enjoyable film, and it doesn't have so many boring parts within it. And the film also does feel like it is a satisfying conclusion, not only to the characters, but to the plots. And the fact that we're getting a fourth Expendables movie, I, I just i am kind of shocked at the fact that we're getting one nine years later after the ending of the third film kind of seems like they're milking the franchise and i just i'm concerned about how the fourth one's going to go like i thought i thought the third one was just a good enough ending and uh, a good enough send-off for the characters and it kind of put everything in a nice niche little conclusion bow so i hope the fourth one's good and i hope it just has a reason for existing i hope it's just not going to retread old ground and be like yeah we just needed to make an action movie for the sake of these actors and actresses needing a paycheck so that's my biggest worry about the fourth film third film love it i think it's still the best one out of all three so far and with that i'm going to give it a seven out of ten thank you for watching have a great day bye guys